Hello again, everybody. It's me, Marcus, and I review stuff. Today, I'm reviewing the song Leviathan One from Parkway Drive. Um, so, I've never heard anything from Parkway Drive before. Totally new band for me. Um, so, really excited for this one. Uh, get to learn something new, hopefully learn about a new artist, and uh, listen to some new music. Well, new to me. Music that I haven't heard before. So, uh, again, really excited. Um, this does come as a request, so as always, if you would like to request something, please leave a comment down below, and I will be sure to get to it. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going through all of my older requests first, so if you have requested something recently, just know it's probably going to be a little while before I get to it. But anyway, let's listen to it. This is, again, Leviathan 1, Parkway Drive. Here we go. Yeah, man, that was nice and heavy. I loved that. Uh, apparently, I was wrong. It's not Leviathan 1. I assume that the I was a Roman numeral. But it's actually just Leviathan I. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I wasn't sure what to expect going in, but really kind of happily surprised that it was a really heavy song. 
Um, I really liked uh, those kind of like galloping um, instrumentals there towards the end. Um, and really just the drummer for me, I think, sold this one. I think the drumming throughout was fantastic. So really enjoyed this one. Uh, thank you so much for the request. Let's talk about it. Let's break it down like we normally do. Let's start with those lyrics. So uh, before I read the lyrics, it says, Leviathan I is the penultimate song from Deep Blue. The song talks about the main character turning into some kind of monster that rises from the ocean outside the city. This is reminiscent of the Japanese monster Godzilla. Uh, the song goes to talk about the built-up anger from previous songs on the album, which ends up transforming into destruction as the monster prepares to destroy the city. Okay. Uh, it does say the song bio is unreviewed, but, you know, it's fine. Um, so, with that in mind, you know, let's uh, let's read these lyrics. When did the song come out? 2010. Okay, interesting. All right, so, but uh, but there is no silence. My thoughts drowned out, screeching and grinding resonates through a hollow shell. There is no great wisdom, there are no answers. Okay, so it sounds like maybe someone who feels very hopeless. Um, they feel like, uh, again, there's no silence, their thoughts are drowned, at, their thoughts are drowned out. Um, there's, you know, everything's kind of hollow, there's no great wisdom, there's no, nothing uh, deeper, no deeper meaning to their life, I guess. I close my eyes, but all I see is red. I bite my tongue, but all I taste is blood. Once again, they set their traps, set their hooks deep in my head. Too naive to think these forked tongues could out, could themselves devour. I close my eyes, but all I see is red. I bite my tongue, but all I taste is blood. Once again, they set their traps, set their hooks deep in my head. Too naive to think these forked tongues would themselves devour. This is very interesting. I, I like the writing style. It's very metal. Uh, but even poetic in, in some regards. Um, I'm not really too sure what they're talking about yet. You know, I, I have the bio to kind of go off of. But so far, I'm not really reading that um, unless they have already become the monster, I guess. And the traps, the hooks, those are to kind of hold it back. But I um, really like this verse. I think it's just really cool. Uh, so show me war, show me pestilence, show me the blood red hands of retribution. And the abyss stares back, Leviathan I. And the abyss stares back, Leviathan I. So I, I, I think it's kind of say like, I am Leviathan, like Leviathan I, that's me. Uh, to break their hold, strip the flesh straight from their bones, cast their limbs into the gears of the beast, bring this monstrosity to its knees, cast their limbs into the gears of the beast, bring this monstrosity to its fucking knees. And that's really metal, like, how metal of a line, like, cast their limbs into the gears of the beast. That's such a metal fucking line, I love that. Eye for an eye, eye for an eye. Cast your limbs into the gears of the beast. Bring this monstrosity to its knees. Eye for an eye. I'll send this world blind. You know, I like that. That's a play on that old phrase, that an eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. You know, revenge just gets more revenge, which gets more revenge, which gets more revenge. It never never ends. Uh, but he, he, he in this song, he's fine with it. He's like, fuck it, I'm going to leave the whole world blind. You know, I'm going to get my revenge or whatever. Uh, show me war, show me pestilence, show me the blood red hands of retribution, and the abyss stares back Leviathan I, and the abyss stares back Leviathan I. Under the blackened sun, beneath a hunter's moon, seething. Dogs of war, they call for blood, but it will not be mine. Ooh, I love that. Uh, very hardcore. <laughs> Dogs of war, they call for blood, but it will not be mine. You know, I, I could see how this reads as sort of a person uh, shedding their humanity, becoming a monster, and seeking revenge. Perhaps for those who wronged him, I, I you know I can definitely see that, um, and so I wonder if it is sort of meant to be taken as a fictional thing, or if you know maybe it has some inspiration, something that's happened to the artist, to the lyric writer, um, and they're sort of um, navigating it using this sort of monster tale here. But overall, a lot of cool stuff here in the lyrics. Some really, like I said, like heavy metal lyrics here that I really like. I just think it's really cool. Some of those badass lyrics. The, what was the one I I had just said? It was. Uh, um, uh, bring uh, cast your limbs into the gears of the beast. Love that one. That was such a badass metal line. I think there's enough of those uh, really cool writing moments in here that I, I give it two thumbs up lyrically. I thought it was really cool. Um, as far as the instrumentation goes, you know, I loved the heaviness of it. I, it's no secret at this point that I love heavy music. So for me, this was nice and heavy. Uh, I really like the main guitar riff throughout with a little bit of nice guitar work there in the beginning. Uh, a lot of really cool breakdowns, I think, that just gave the song a lot more intensity. Uh, they even had moments where they really slowed it down and let it kind of grind out. 
Uh, but like I said, the, the drummer really made this one for me. I feel like the drums throughout were fantastic. The drummer was going off in certain parts. He, he just did a fantastic job, whoever the drummer is. Uh, and then even the, the, the vocals, you know, I, I've mentioned before with my metal, I do like a little bit of that clean singing every now and then. But for, for me, I feel like this one was just as good with the heavy uh, dirty, I guess, if you want, singing throughout. So, yeah, I just think it sounded really, really good. Nice, heavy, unrelenting song. It really made that 3 minutes and 49 seconds feel a little bit longer. And that's not a bad thing, you know. It, it definitely felt like a much longer song because of the number of transitions and breakdowns. And then again, because of the heaviness, it just like, ooh, like every moment was such an impact. Uh, so really just an awesome song, both vocally and instrumentally. I give it two thumbs up. As far as replay value goes, you know, I'll be honest, this is probably not a song I listen to every day because, again, with my metal, I do like a little bit of clean singing with it. Um, but this definitely has its place on my playlist, especially uh, going in my workout playlist because, you know, nice and heavy, good for working out, um, good to get that intensity going, you know. So really like it in that respect. And, and so I think it's still going to get some pretty good playtime with me here in the future. I definitely want to hear it again. It was Like I said, it was intense, it was heavy, and I loved it. So I give it like a thumb and a half in that regard. I think it still still has a lot of good replay values. So anyway, that's it for the song. Really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for whoever requested that one. I'd, I'd really be interested to see more from this band. To my knowledge, this might be the only request I've had for them. So if any Parkway Drive fans out there, please let me know what else I should listen to from them. I'm really excited to hear more. Um, if you enjoyed the music, I'll see if they're on Spotify. If they are, you'll definitely find them in my Spotify playlist. It has every single song I've listened to so far on my channel. It makes for a pretty great day of listening. There's like 17 hours of music on there or something like that. Um, if you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube would be great. Like and subscribe and comment. Thank you so much for your time. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.